I live alone, my daughter, and her husband live next door. One day my daughter went to a session for a month. My son-in-law came to me and said that my wife had left and now I had to feed him. He came for three days, ate, and went home for the night. Then he told me that he was tired of running around and that he would stay with me for the time being. I was just happy not to be alone at home. And here is a man of 40 tall handsome. In the evening he came out of the shower, wrapped in a towel, and went into the hall. I wanted to ask him something, so I followed him and that's when I saw him, I was like an electric shock. My brother-in-law was standing there completely naked, wiping his head with a towel. I noticed what he had between his legs, a huge banana. My daughter was very lucky. Her father had a small pepper, and I was often under emotional. I couldn't take my eyes off his big banana. When my son-in-law saw me looking at him, he was embarrassed and apologized. I went into the kitchen and cooked under the impression that Bill's banana was in front of my eyes. My lower abdomen was hot and wet. I had not felt such a pleasant sensation in a long time. I am no longer a young woman, I am 56 years old, but I am slim and look younger than my years. My son-in-law was wearing shorts, I imagined what he had there. He must have seen the look in my eyes. In the evening, I called him to have tea with me. My son-in-law came into the kitchen wearing tight shorts and his banana was sticking out of his underpants. I felt he did it on purpose. I thought he was deliberately provoking me. We talked and drank tea. He went into the hall and laid down on the sofa and started watching TV. He was lying on the couch in his underwear, covered with a light blanket. I sat down next to him and he offered to cover me with the blanket. He put my hand under the blanket on his leg. I felt his wand being pulled into a log. Everything between my legs was on fire. I couldn't resist him. My brother-in-law simply climbed on top of me like a horse. He kissed my lips and began to undress me. I couldn't resist and I didn't want to. All night long he made love to me in different positions. I loved the way he controlled me. I just had to obey him. In the morning I was ashamed, but he said that if we hadn't done it, we would have regretted it for the rest of our lives. It was a week before my daughter arrived and all that week he beat me at soccer by scoring goals. And then the day before my daughter was due, he moved out. One day I realized that I was pregnant. I decided to keep the baby. I told my daughter it was with my married lover, and her husband Bill understood. He knew it was his child, but he wasn't involved in raising it. Five years later, my daughter divorced Bill, and he moved away. We never saw him again.